Welcome friends. Welcome to another at home Ragazzi wellness yoga practice. Um, before we start today, you will probably want to block for this practice if you have one. If you don't, um, a really hefty book would work. We're going to use it just for balance when we're doing some twists. So um, really heavy book. I've seen people use nice thick like empty jars that are sturdy enough to put a little bit of weight on to. Um, we won't like be sitting on it, so you'll be fine. But locate yourself something to use for a block. If you really don't have anything, you'll get by. It'll be okay. But we are going to begin in a comfortable seat. So crisscross applesauce. And start to just arrive in your space on your mat. Close the eyes if you're comfortable with that. Otherwise, soften the gaze. And turn your attention toward your breath. I don't know if you can hear it on the video, but my doggies are running around. I can hear their click, click, clicks on the floor. And undoubtedly, wherever you are practicing, there are distractions there too. And it's okay to notice those. That's just what life is. But really try to give yourself this time on your mat to really spend with yourself. Even if distractions, interruptions may come, but come back. If the mind wanders as it naturally will, turn your attention back to the breath. And if you haven't already, shift your breaths in and out of the nose. If you're able, I know it's allergy season, so sometimes <laughs> breathing through the nose can be tough, but as much as you can, take those nice deep inhales and exhales out of the nose. Blink your eyes open if they're closed. Inhale, we'll start to move. Inhale the arms up. Exhale down to heart center. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, and this time allow your right hand to come down to the floor. Your left arm reaches over, maybe that right elbow comes down. Just getting a nice stretch through the left side body. And then turn your hand to face behind you, opening up the shoulder. Bring it back into that side stretch. Inhale, both arms rise. Exhale, left hand down to the mat. Right arm up and over. Gazing upward, feeling the opening through the heart, drawing the right shoulder back. And then turning the right palm to face behind you, opening up the shoulder. Returning to that side stretch. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, draw the elbows back and down for a nice deep cactus. Inhale up. Exhale back. Last one of these. Inhale up. Exhale back. Now we're going to reach the arms out, turning the palms to face behind you. Elbows in. Inhale to extend, flipping the hands. Exhale to draw it in. 
last one of these. Inhale, extend. Exhale, drawing back and down. Inhaling all the way up. And then bringing the hands to the occiput, basically where your, like where your head meets your neck. And you can even use your thumbs to give yourself a little neck massage here. And then open the left elbow toward the ceiling, drawing the elbows away from each other, really broadening through the heart. And now drawing the chin toward the chest, elbows come toward one another. Allow your hands to provide a little weight here. Don't push too much. Be gentle with your neck. But as a lot of, a lot of us, I can't talk, are sitting around a bit more lately, that should feel pretty good. And then open that right elbow up toward the ceiling, elbows drawing away from each other, broadening the heart. up through center. Inhale both arms up, lengthen the spine, and then reach the arms forward. Walking the hands forward to find a nice fold. The forehead might come down toward the floor, maybe right here, maybe a lot higher. Just find wherever you are right now, relax. Look forward to the hands, reach the right arm forward, and then send it back behind you for a bit of a twist. And then square the heart off toward the floor. So your right arm is just kind of flying behind you. And then allow the head to fall forward. On your next inhale, look forward and sit up nice and tall, right arm behind you, left arm in front of you. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, finding your twist. Left hand goes to the right knee, gaze behind you over your right shoulder. Look forward. Allow the right arm to cross over the left. And then finding your eagle arm. So the backs of the palms might come together. <laughs> the palms may come together. Lift your elbows. That was Eli that just did a little drive by. I had to make an appearance. If you'd like to add a little back bend and open the shoulders a little more, you can looking up, lifting the elbows toward the sky. On your next exhale, release. Arms come out to the side. And keeping them there, uncross the legs and maybe come into a half boat pose. Your hands can come to the floor to support you. They can also come behind the thighs. They can stay up. Maybe the legs extend. Maybe the arms go up. And that one. And then change the cross of the legs. So this time, left should probably be in front of the right. And we're gonna come into that forward fold. You got a scoot, girl. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, folding forward. I'm folding onto my dog. <laughs> Just opening up the hip, relaxing into this forward fold. On your next inhale, look forward at the hands. Leave the right hand grounded. Open the left arm behind you, really opening through the heart. And then leaving that left arm raised, square the heart toward the ground, and then allow the head to fall. It may not fall all the way to the floor, but take it as far as it will. Relax here. Then on your next inhale, sit on up. Left hand to the floor behind you. Inhale the right arm up. 
and move into your twist. Right hand comes to the left knee, gaze over your left shoulder, opening up your twist. Allow the left arm to cross over the right and then bring it to your eagle arm. So the backs of the palms may come together, the palms may come together, lifting the elbows. And this time, if you would like to add a back bend, you can. Lowering the elbows down, opening wide. Nice full round of breath here. Reach those arms open long, active hands. And then crossing at your ankles, we'll move into our first plank. So crawl it forward, finding plank pose. Oh, might feel a little bit crackly after being seated that long. We'll work it out. And then lower the hips down to the floor, finding up dog or cobra. And here you might even open up the hips a little bit, shifting left and right. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips, find your down dog. And it's our first one of the day. So paddle it out here. And then find some stillness in that down dog, lifting the hips. On your next inhale, look forward, flowing to that up dog, allowing the knees to lower, gazing up. Tuck the toes, send it back to down dog. We'll take two more of those flows. Move at your own pace, really flowing through the spine, taking a moment of breath in that up dog or cobra before sending it back to your down dog. And whenever you get back to your down dog, take one nice deep breath there before lowering the knees, finding your child's pose. Hips sink all the way back toward the heels. Allow the head to fall to the floor, nice and heavy. On an inhale, lift the right arm up to the ceiling to open the heart and then thread it underneath the left, coming down on that right shoulder, allowing a little bit of weight to come into that shoulder that's resting on the floor, not too much. And then unfolding back to your child's pose. One full round of breath here. And then inhale the left arm up to the sky and thread it underneath the right. Coming down onto the left shoulder, giving it a little bit of weight. And then on your next exhale, unfold. And roll to your tabletop. And here we'll take just a few rounds of cat cows. Inhaling to tuck the toes, arch the back, gaze up. Exhaling, chin to chest, arching the back for cat. Moving at your own pace here. Wagging your tail, shifting the weight, doing any of those little things that will help open up your body. And 
And then after you finish one more complete set of cat cows, move your way back to your down dog. And this time you may need a little pedaling. Maybe this time you lift and lower heels. Try to move a little differently than you did our first time. But then find some stillness in that down dog. Looking forward to the hands, walk the feet up about hip distance. Grab opposite elbows, hang and ragdoll. Our knees could be bent or straight. And then releasing the bind in the arms, we're going to bend the knees deeply and roll it up to standing. And right when you reach the top, go ahead and allow the heart to fall. Bend the knees, rolling all the way back down. Rolling it up, following your own breath pattern, moving nice and slow. And once you finish two more of these, then we'll meet in our mountain pose, grabbing through all four corners of the feet, standing nice and tall. Here in mountain pose, find nice active hands, active arms, broaden through your heart. Find a gentle descent in the tailbone. And we'll move through a couple sun salutations just to get all of our blood flowing. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant those hands, step it back to plank. Option to lower knees, chest, chin, or gaze forward. Chaturanga, elbows in. Moving up through your cobra, and then tucking the toes to find your down dog. In down dog, feel your heels descend toward the earth. It's okay if they don't touch. Lift your hips any amount higher, and move your heart closer to your thighs. Looking forward, step or hop, top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive up. Hands to heart center. One full round of breath here. We'll take one more just like that. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant the hands, step it back to plank. Take your chaturanga or don't. We'll meet up in down dog. Look forward to the top of your mat and this time step or hop Feet are hips distance apart. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive up. And hands to heart center. All right. We're going to move through our first little flow. Um, we're really focusing on twists today, if you didn't feel that throughout our warm up. Um, I think in a normal class setting, I would have talked a little more about the goal for our class today, but in my room by myself, um, it didn't come up. But this next sequence is going to be really twisty. Just flow with it. Um, take it all with grace. Don't force yourself. Be gentle in these twists, right? We're going to gently kind of wring out, hopefully, some of the stress 
that I assume we're all feeling right now. So feet are hips distance apart. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, sink the hips down into our awkward chair pose. Keeping a nice lift through the heart, a gentle tuck in the tailbone. Hands to heart center, and we'll twist left elbow to right knee. Gaze up over your right shoulder. Take a moment here to think, are my knees in line with each other? We're aiming to keep them in line. On your next exhale, release the twist, stay in that chair. Bending those knees really deep. The left hand is coming down outside your left foot. Left foot shoots out to the right for a curtsy lunge. Right arm up to the sky, twist it out. Should feel it through your right hip. Maybe your right IT band is speaking to you right now. Deep breaths. Right hand down to the floor, all your fingertips on the mat. We're going to send that left foot back for high lunge. So wave into the right foot with control, left foot back, high lunge legs. Beautiful. Ground the left hand inside the right foot. Open that right arm to the sky. Right arm down, framing the foot. Plant those hands firmly down. And as you're ready, we're drawing the knee in toward the nose for cheetah pose. And from here, we're gonna draw little circles with that knee toward the midline. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, lower the right knee, right under the right hip. So we're in a nice quadruped pose here. Inhale, lift the left leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Carry it over to the right, just like we did in that curtsy lunge. Right arm up to the sky. For a twist, you may notice this is tricky for balance. Just play with it. Send your right arm forward. Left leg lifts and comes behind. Deep inhale, exhale, crunch, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, option to bend the knee, reaching the hand back, kicking the foot into the hand to open the heart. Palm back to the mat, send the leg back, ground those left toes. You may need to kind of walk out your palms a little, get ready. But when you're ready, we're coming back to that cheetah pose, knee to nose. Send the right heel up, three-legged dog. And from here, step the foot between the hands, high lunge, lifting the heart this time, sinking deeply in that right leg. Deep inhale, left arm reaches forward, right arm reaches back for a twist. Gazing to your right hand,
Then the right hand drops, left arm goes up. Draw the right hand back up, high lunge. Ooh, I'm getting the shakes. And we're turning the back foot out to move into our warrior two. Whew. So you may need to take a peek down at your feet. Make sure that your alignment is correct. We want the heel of our right foot to be aligned with the arch of our left foot. Once you're there, nice strong arms, nice strong front leg. Flip your hands, reverse your warrior. Warrior two. And we're gonna move through a fun little flow here. Inhale, pivot the right toes forward so that feet are in line with each other. Exhale, lower onto the left leg for a lunge. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink down, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale down, hold this time. Keeping nice and strong through the front side of the body. Right elbow to the left knee. Twist, gazing over your left shoulder. On your next exhale, release the twist. Inhale up. Oh, one full round of breath here. Then turn the front foot back out and find that warrior two. Maybe you'll go a little bit deeper this time. Really find your deepest expression of the pose. Externally rotating the front leg, grounding through the outside of the back foot. Windmill the arms down. And lower the back knee for the briefest of low lunges. Just sinking into that front hip. If you feel extension through the opening hip or maybe in the supporting leg, you feel some contraction, some stress. Imagine you're sending your breath wherever it is you feel tension. Frame the foot with the hands and then step the left foot up to meet the right. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse your swan dive up. And hands to heart center. Whew. And this is where you're going to want your block. So I should have asked you to go ahead and put it at the top of your mat, but I didn't. So here we are. <laughs> With your block, feet can be hips distance or together. Either way works. So we've got our block. You're probably going to want to use it always. Fold forward, finding a flat back, bringing your block to the floor. Depending on your height, you really might use a different height of the block, actually. Both hands are on your block. Weight goes into the right leg. Lift the left leg. Oh, little bubble mat. You're going to lift your left leg like you're coming into warrior three. So lifting that left leg parallel to the floor, find a nice active foot, don't be lazy back there. Inhale, exhale, lower those toes to the floor. Ooh, balance. Inhale to lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower down. We're moving toward our pyramid pose. So that back foot is gonna be turned out 45 degrees. 
And you might remain here with a flat back with hands on this block. You might want to lower your block a bit. You can try the different levels. So just hang out here for a few breaths. And here you've got the option to stay if you would like to add one more twist in my opinion a pretty tough one we're going to come into revolved triangle for me my block needs to move forward a smidge to stay under my shoulder so you'll keep your left hand down and the right arm twists up to the sky Exhale, release, remove the block, and shift to your warrior three for real this time. And your right leg might be about to give out, mine is. Fight for it. Turning the attention back to the breath. And when you have had enough, we'll meet in Tadasana. Gonna give you a minute to play with that balance at home. If you're already done, dance it out a little bit. I'm gonna fix my mat. When you're ready, if you've had your water, had your little break, we're gonna move into the left. We'll see if I can remember everything we did. So as you're ready, finding the top of your mat, finding mountain pose. If while you work, you notice your shoulders start to come up towards your ears, draw them back and down. And here we go. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, sit down Ooh, into your chair. Your right leg just did a lot of work. So your left leg might be feeling a little wonky. We'll fix it. Hands to heart center. Right elbow outside the left knee. Gaze over your left shoulder. On your next exhale, release that twist. Sit really deep. Right hand comes outside your right foot. Right foot comes out to the left, curtsy lunge. Left arm up to the sky. Left hand down to the mat, closing off that twist. Weight in the left foot. With control, carry the right foot back, placing it down for high lunge legs. Right hand grounds, left arm goes up for your twist. Left hand down to the floor. Really ground through those palms. Check that they're under your shoulders. And when you're ready, knee to nose, cheetah pose. And here we're going to add little circles toward the midline. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Lower the left knee. Make sure it's right under the hip. Grounding through the palms. Inhale, lift the right leg. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, take that foot over to the left. Left arm opens up.
what an awkward pose. Left arm comes forward, squaring the chest toward the floor. Draw the right foot up and behind. Inhale, exhale, crunch, <laughs> knee to elbow. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, exhale, crunch. Inhale, extend, bend that leg, reaching for the foot, kicking into the hand for tiger bind. Left hand to the floor, extend that back leg, bringing the toes down to the floor. May need to march it out a little here when you're ready. Ground the palms, knee to nose for cheetah, extend it back, three-legged dog. And then move to high lunge, stepping the left foot between the hands, grounding through that foot to lift your heart and lift your gaze. Deep inhale, right arm forward, left arm back, gazing towards your left hand. Left hand lowers, right arm up to reverse. Left arm comes up to meet the right, high lunge. Ooh, that left leg is working. Turn out the back foot to move to warrior two. I'm sorry I'm facing away from you. <sighs> but the right foot will be parallel with the end of your mat. Heel of left foot aligned with arch of right, sinking nice and deep. Hands to the sky, reverse. Bring it back, warrior two. And here comes our flow. Inhale, turn both feet in. Exhale, lower lunge, right leg. Inhale to rise. Exhale, turn the left foot out, warrior two. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale lower. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale lower it down. Hold. Nice long spine. And then twist your left elbow to your right knee. Gaze over your right shoulder. On your next exhale, release. Coming up through center. Turn out the front leg. Sink it down. Maybe even extend your stance and go a little deeper this time. Gazing over your front fingertips. Nice, strong arms. Windmill down. Turning the back foot in to find your low lunge. Lowering the knee and the shin. When you're ready, Ooh, sinking into that hip. Once again, taking this time to turn your attention back to your deep, intentional breath. Next exhale, hands come down and frame the foot. <laughs> Step the right foot up ooh, to meet the left. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive up. 
of hands to heart center. Let's take a nice full round of breath here. And then locate your block. Feet are gonna come hips distance or feet together. Do whatever you chose the first time to keep your alignment the same. And then hinging forward at the hip creases, we're moving into that nice flat back, supporting ourselves with both hands on the block, grounding through the left foot this time, right heel lifts as it would in warrior three. Deep inhale, exhale, lower toes down to the mat. Inhale to rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Active feet here. Exhale, lower. Last one. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower it down. And we're moving to our pyramid. So the right foot is turned out about 45 degrees. Draw the left hip back in line with the right. And here in pyramid, you may stay on your block. You may lower the block. You may even be able to bring the hands to the floor and really fold over the leg. But find where you are today. Maybe you'll notice one side is distinctly different from the other. They really are for me. So I can identify with that. But whatever you do notice, notice it and then let it go. And from here, you can stay in pyramid, or if you would like to add revolved triangle, place your block right under your shoulder, and then open the left arm up toward the sky for your revolved triangle. Exhale to release, move your block. And here's the last challenge because that left leg is tired. Move into your warrior three. Ooh. And once you've had enough, lower with control, finding a nice tall mountain pose, arms up to the sky. And I'm going to hang out here for a minute because some of you are probably playing with balance, so take your time. When you're done, just wave it out, relax the arms, maybe even out the feet a little bit. And fix your magic water if you need to. Our next pose, my Fitbit just told me to walk. How rude. Our next pose is going to be Malasana. So feet are turned out to 45. The distance between your legs will really depend on your hips. So keep your block handy and lower down into your malasana, your low yogi squat. Now this pose is uncomfortable for a lot of us. If you feel like you can't get your heels down, your hips really won't sink, find a place on your block that you can place your sits bones and maybe that will allow you to get your feet down. Then you can focus on the opening of the hips, the opening of the knees, and the length of the spine, because we don't want to collapse, right? So find your pose, wherever it might be. And once you're there, hang out for a moment. And here, um, we're gonna play with crow. So when you're done playing with crow, we'll meet up in Malasana. So this is always here for you. If you're like, that's not really on my menu today, but you're at home, there's no one to watch you. So if you have crow in your regular practice, play with it however you want. If crow is not in your regular practice, come on up to standing. 
and bring the arms forward, kind of like zombie walk, right? Sit really low. So all of those poses we did earlier were grabbing us for this nice low squat. Hands come down to the floor, and you'll notice your knees are right there, headed for your triceps, right? Hands to the floor, gazing forward in between the hands. Maybe you shift the weight so that you lift one foot. Maybe both feet lift, maybe they don't fit. And maybe it's not working for you, come out and reset. Maybe play with lifting the other foot first. So take a few moments here to play. And some days it's just not gonna happen. When you've had enough head to Malasana, that's where we will meet. And whether that went well or it didn't, however it went, let it go. If you want more time, pause the video, hang out. But otherwise, we're gonna come down onto our booties. And we're gonna extend the legs nice and long in front of us, shaking out a little bit. We're gonna start with hair and pose. So bend the left leg in, grasp the right foot with your hand. Um, I really should have brought a strap with me. I forgot. So you can always use a strap for this, a towel, anything would work. Or you can move with the hands and keep the knee bent. But if you really want to get this nice stretch, grab a strap or something. <sighs> nice deep breath. And in here, we really want to pay attention to the integrity the length of the spine, the broadening through the heart, the length here. So we're not collapsing down, right? Lifting. And from here, if you have a strap, put it down. Don't allow the leg to fall down to the floor. Hands to heart center, heart goes back just a smidge, hold. Deep inhale, exhale lower to a hover. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Inhale lift, exhale lower. Nice job, inhale, cross that leg over. So we're heading to a seated figure four. And here you can kind of, I call this a choose your own adventure stretch. The more you scoot your booty towards your foot, the more opening you're gonna get through the hip of the bent leg. So you choose where you wanna be. Only go so far as you can maintain length in the spine though. Once you've crashed, you've gone too far, scoot it back a little. Nice deep breath. And here in this pose, you might rock the leg. You can allow your hips to lift when you do this. So it's kind of wringing out the hips. And then finding your center. Step your bottom foot out a bit, your fingertips face towards you on the floor. We're moving toward a, a reverse tabletop. Ground through those palms, draw the elbows back toward one another. Ground your left foot, lift the hips. If this is way too much in your right leg, you can uncross it. Lift your hips any amount. Ooh. lower on down. Extend that left leg long, uncross the right foot. We're headed for Janu Shirshasana. So the right foot is inside the thigh. Square your heart toward your extended leg. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. 
this is another pose. If you have a strap at home, you're welcome to do it with a strap instead, pulling the heart forward, because this isn't gonna take us very far, right? We want to bring the belly toward the leg. So if that means using a prop for right now, that's what we need to do. I wish I could just, I don't know, I'm gonna say something weird, like throw the props into your world. On your next exhale, release that stretch. Bringing the right knee up, we're gonna cross that foot over the left leg. And we're headed for our twist. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, gazing over the right shoulder, hooking that elbow onto the knee. Using your inhales to extend and your exhales maybe to twist a little deeper. On your next exhale, release. And we're gonna play with something fun. Leave your leg where it is. Turn all of your toes to face the left. Ground your left hand behind your butt. Lift your left hip. Modified side plank. And you can stay here, or if you would like to flow into wild thing, maybe move that leg right behind you lowering the hips and then lifting them up high reaching the arm behind you for wild thing and then lower it down to the floor both legs come long inhale the arms up exhale forward fold On your exhale, release. And we're gonna move into Heron on our left side. So hands interlace or a strap on your left foot. I'm just gonna keep talking about straps. Um, lifting your heart, extending through the spine. And then bend the knee, crossing it over your right leg. Moving into your choose your own adventure hip stretch here. Mm. Nice deep breaths. And then you can rock. leg, opening the hips, and then finding your center for a couple more breaths. And then we're headed for our reverse table. So I need to back off of my stretch a little bit. You find where you need to be. Hands come behind you. Elbows and shoulders draw together, ground that right foot nice and strong. And when you're ready, lift your hips. Whoop. Super awkward. Hips nice and high, gazing upward. Lower the hips down, extend the right leg, uncross and set up for your John Yashirshasana, grounding both sits, bones squaring toward your extended leg. Inhale the arms up, exhale forward fold. Should be folding on the right side this time, but even if I've said something insane or we got on the wrong sides, just make sure you've done both.
on your exhale, release that stretch. Sending the left knee up toward the sky, crossing the left foot over the right to make sure both sits bones are grounded. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale, hook it on the left knee, gaze over your left shoulder. Inhales, providing space. Exhales, maybe letting you move in your twist. Deep inhale, exhale to release. Keep that leg crossed over. All your toes are headed toward the right. The right hand is coming down behind you. Ground that left foot, lift your hips, side plank. Option to stay right here, or if you'd like to take it to wild thing with control, lift that leg, placing it behind, lowering the hips to lift them up and gaze behind you. And when you're all done, lower it down to the floor, uncross the legs if they're crossed. Then bend the knees to bring the feet in together for Baddha Konasana. Making that little basket with your hands. Lifting through the spine, make sure you're even on your sits bones. Might take some rocking out, that's what I was doing. And then bend your elbows, drawing your heart closer to your feet. Once you've gone as far as you're going, the chin can fall toward the chest. Slowly release that stretch. And then crossing it to the ankles, we're gonna bring it through to our down dog. Mm. Couple nice deep breaths here. Looking forward, walk those feet up to hip distance. Bend the knees super deeply and roll it up one vertebrae at a time, finding your mountain pose. And we're going to move through one last slow sun salutation before we close out. So moving slowly, imagining almost that you're moving through something really thick, molasses, Exhale all the air out of the lungs. Inhale the arms up. Exhale fold. Inhale half lift flat back. Exhale fold. Step it on back. Option to head straight for down dog or take your chaturanga. Last couple deep breaths in downward facing dog. And if you need anything else, please take this time to listen to your body. But if you're ready, hop on through. We're gonna come down onto our backs. Once you're down on the floor on your back, Begin to set up for bridge. So feet come in close to your sits bones. Hands are down on the floor. Feel your shoulder blades move toward one another on your back. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hips to the sky for bridge pose. On a 
and exhale, release the hips down to the floor. <sighs> Draw the knees into the chest, rocking a little from right to left. And then coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees open wide. Let's bring the left hand to the heart, the right hand to the belly. And really turn the attention back to those deep intentional breaths. And before we turn everything off attention wise and head into Shavasana, I invite you first to do a little check-in. First, checking in on your body, noticing any changes that might have arisen in the last hour, maybe even in the last week. And please, I say notice them, but make sure you don't attach to them. Then turn your attention to your heart, where your feelings live. And notice those. But remember, feelings come, feelings go. We have feelings, but we're not our feelings. And then finally, turn your attention toward your mind, where your thoughts live. And take a moment to notice those. But then remember that yes, we have thoughts, but we most definitely are not our thoughts. And then as you're ready, you can draw the knees in together and then allow your feet to fall open wide as your mat. Hands can either stay on the heart and belly or they can come palm up onto the floor 